Good morning, everybody. How are you? I just finished one cup of coffee and I'm going on number two. What do you say, Wisdom? What are you going to say about that? Ah, you're so cute. Hi, pretty girl. She wants Bob. She wants to be out with him. She already went for a walk with him, but now she wants to be out again. Yes. Ready for some coffee. Going on my second cup. <sighs> wow. So our Keurig started shooting out just water. I need to get a descaler or one of those pouches that you put in here that cleans the needle for this brand. I'll turn that off. Um, but it's a bummer because I love quick, easy Keurig. Sorry, it's so dark. So, we're using the pour over, which it's just, it's fast and easy too. So here we go. I just bought this Seattle Dark Coffee Rose. It's actually really good. I just went to a little store in Shasta Town and got it. And the this and the caramel are my favorite almond creamers. And yeah, here we are. Got another pour over because the last taller one broke, which this shorter one is a little bit thicker glass and it's easier to handle. So I'm glad Bob got that one. And then some coffee and creamer. Okay, start the day. Okay, Bob's sign. Alexa, turn the bedroom light on. Okay. Okay. Figure out what to wear. It's kind of dark in here. I have so many, like most of my clothes are all wintry. I haven't changed the clothes out from the clothes in the garage. However, I don't know that a lot of the clothes that I had I would wear or that they would even fit right now. So I'm gonna stick to mostly, we'll just say, these winter clothes are no. Here's a few lighter weight. But I live where it's very hot. That could be a summary. Let's see what's down here. So I stick to usually summer dresses because they feel better. That has to go in a different spot. Um, I just feel more comfortable in them. I'm going to wear this one tonight. Well, this week, one day. So I'm not going to wear it right now. These are little cover-ups. This is a dress. Maybe I'll wear, I haven't worn this one for a long time. I thrifted this one like three years ago. But it's just a really cool summer dress. So let's try it. Yeah, am I gonna wear <laughs> that one? Not that. Let's just keep my bangs out of the way. Or my trusty visor. I honestly think, I mean, the black is so cute. I, if I wore the black hat, I could wear my black little tennis shoes. If I wear this one, I could wear my Birkenstocks, rust Birkenstocks. Actually, they're not real Birkenstocks, but I love real Birkenstocks. I don't know what brand they are. They're really great. I love them. Love. So I think this is gonna be the deal because I am working today, I'm cleaning. Yeah, cleaning in Lakehead. Don't lick me. My dog just wants to lick me all the time. I don't like it. I just made a smoothie. Yay, to take to work. But all my lids that went to these are gone. So I need to talk to my daughter because she has lids, but her machine, the something on it doesn't work so I need to get the lids before they go because now because I don't have lids I need to find um put it in a different cup which I really don't want to it kind of defeats the purpose but here we go some trusty lids right here so I'll take this lid and then I'm going to go pour my smoothie and something else so this it's just a little mud room and it's like kind of where our extras go. I had way too much in my house. It's crazy how 
when we moved in here, we had hardly anything because we got rid of everything in Washington and moved into a 24 foot trailer. How we accumulate so much stuff is beyond my imagination. So anyways, I mean, a lot of this, like I'm going to point at this, all this baking ware free from somebody else who is moving. Um, same with the coffee pot, same with the Vitamix, more pie tins. We bought the crock pot. I got the ice bucket from Goodwill. I needed it. This is all my crafting stuff now. Grandma's old sewing machine. I'm working on these tennis shoes for Gabby. I'm repainting them because she did not like the color. And so I painted them black. It's like a leather black. And then I need to paint this, but I've been working on them for a long time. And then I quit. I need to finish some projects. I haven't been finishing my projects at all. So now's the time to get busy. Finish your projects, Deborah Shear. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put my drink in the cup. Make sure there's no doggy here. Actually, let's rinse this off because I do not, absolutely do not like dog hair. None. My husband is gone. He's working on properties. We both, it seems like we're always working, but it's okay. We don't mind. We like it. Let me low. Ah, got it. And this one, no dog hair. I rinsed it out already. Just to be sure. When you have an animal, that's what you have to do. There's one ice cube in here that is way too big and it wouldn't crunch up. Ooh, right there. Mm. But I'm gonna leave it in it because it'll keep it cold. And at my job that I'm going to, I'll um, put it all in the freezer anyways. Yeah, this is so good, you guys. Okay, let me tell you what's in here. I think I did another video on it, but it's pro organic protein power powder that you can get, oh my gosh, at Grocery Outlet right now. Unbelievable price, and I love it. Um, I have a video on that I'll have to show right after this video. And... Um, I put a little matcha powder because sometimes I need a little pick-me-up at the end of the day. It has kale, it has half a banana, an acai pack, um, it has frozen blueberries, frozen pineapple, le straight lemon juice, not lemonade, lemon juice. Um, is that it? I think that's it, and, uh, um, and some water and ice. But my small ice cubes are not ready because I failed to make some yesterday. But let me drink the rest of this. Mmm. Yummy. Okay. See you later. Vitamins. Cheese. <clears throat> Purse. Bag with water and smoothie. Door like this because Wisdom will try to break the door down if she hears a dog. She thinks she's going and she's not. It's always so sad when I leave her. But this is what I do. This is the kind of dog one I have. I put her YouTube channel on that has 24 hours of doggy play, anxiety-free music, calming, soothing. Um, yeah, that's what I do. And the Wi-Fi is tough here. It really is. Thank God we have our carriers Verizon for our phones, but our Wi-Fi at home is at t So one way or another, we usually get, um, Wi-Fi. 85% of the time. <laughs> like right now maybe not usually towards the weekend is when it's really bad because um that's when everybody's coming in to go boating and they're using up all of the um wi-fi that's in the area but here we go 
We haven't used this one. Dog's favorite music. We're gonna use this one. 12 hours. Some of them are 24. We're gonna do this one because I'll be on for five hours max. And Bob will be home and he'll take her fishing or to the water to swim. All right, let's turn that down for now. All right, skip the ad. Skip. Skip there. All right, not another commercial. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, let's turn it up. A little bit. There we go. This is still what we're working on to get it all hooked up to the TV so we can watch our DVDs of our children when they were young, our VHSs, our VHSs. Okay, there we go. Good to go. And now we're leaving. And I gotta leave my puppy and she's gonna be so sad. Look at her, she thinks she's going, but she's not. It's no, no wisdom. I hate telling her that. I am such a sap. I'm not the best with dog with animals because I just am too sensitive. She knows, look at her, she's staying back because I told her no. No, no, baby. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, we're on the road. Going to work. Let me show you how pretty it is. Beautiful day, right? Look at those yellow. Can you see those yellow? Let's see, they're on that side way back there. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Okay, and this is up above my home. It's what I fell in love with when I came here. I still remember. I repeat myself a lot, but still remember my realtor, Layla, saying, are you sure? Like, look at this place. <laughs> because oh, you'd have to go back and see the videos. And I, I really, at the time, I always took videos, but I didn't share them. And I should have <laughs> while we were doing what we did. There's still it's like we still have to go over everything because we bear we just did things the most basic way to make it look aesthetically pleasing um and to be able to just survive because i'm like i cannot even live in this house the way it is so all right guys i have to go to work so have a lovely day if i run across my husband which i probably will i'll do a quick video saying hello good Off we go to the wild blue yonder, Gabarinsky and me. Yep, yep, yep. You don't have to look. My granddaughter. <coughs> Smile. Yay. Okay. You gotta sort something. I think I need to use these baskets. I've had them for yarn, but I think I need to use these for my linen closet because my linen closet is really getting unorganized and I don't like it. So I think I have a better idea of what to do with the yarn. So there's that one. Let's throw all these out. Uh-oh, some yarn just went flying. Let's get it out. Here we go. It's the yarn that's velvet yarn. That's for Seth and Sarah's baby when they get their baby. Cause I know one day it will be finished. And so out of these baskets, this is the last one that's like that. And then I have, let me show you what else I have. This, that is so full of all kinds of yarn. It's really fun. All right, so let's, all right, let's do this. We know we want to put linen in those. Oh my gosh, what if these don't fit? Well, if that's the case, we gotta change it all up. So let's go in and try. Let's see what we have. It may not even work. Darn, here I'm trying all this that I don't even know if it'll work. I think actually, I don't know. Let's see. If I cut the tops off of these, these, it would work. But you know what? Is it worth it? 
Although this one I could get in there, but they're not the best. It's, how would I do it? I'd have to put them sideways. Okay, these baskets are cute. They're not gonna work. So we're gonna put these back where they belong with yarn. Okay, let's start that. Darn, I thought it was such a great idea. I guess I should have me measured it first. All right, well, I guess I can sort everything a little bit better. Sorry, I haven't even brushed my hair. It's okay. All right, so how are we gonna do this? Let's sort. All right, I think I'm gonna put all the acrylic yarn in one, the cotton in another. So let's put all the acrylic in the biggest one. I think, and I have a lot more out in the garage, but. So these next couple panels that I'm showing you are throw pillows that I'm making for myself because I want to be able to change the pillow cases out um, or the pillow covers out whenever I feel like it. So, and I'm finally done sorting my yarn. Come on, that was a big task. I mean, if you know, you know, yarn is like anything else, whatever you're into, like that's what you want to do. And you're always looking for sales and bargains, whether you need it or not. And honestly, that has become what, what I do. I go into Michael's Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and I instantly go to the yarn section. Now I am trying to get a little bit pickier though. So there you go. I have now officially sorted my yarn and I am ready for some more projects. I'm always, I'm always crocheting something. Um, yeah, I love it. It's so much fun. What you building? I'm building a either tomato or gladiola box. Ah. This is what it's gonna look like. And look at it, it's got a five gallon bucket inside. This is Bob's playground, everyone. He loves this space. He can build and create. This is my wood shop. <laughs> I got my art studio in the garage. Our little work in progress. Yeah, it's all happening. God knows our timing. There's the pretty forest that we love so much. And here's the yard. Oh, I hear somebody. We put those in the skylights just because it gets so hot and we don't, it's our makeshift way. We have them for all three skylights when it starts getting really hot. Now, I feel like I need to start closing the blinds. You get to a certain pot, spot and time where you have to do it. Is this really? Oh, it was zoomed in. Okay, let's come back and start over. Walking in the house. Yes, indeed. Which Bible shall I read? I think I'm going to read, that's Bob's family's heirlooms, some of it. That's Bob's guitar, Bob's painting I've showed before.
Okay, time for my devotional. A lot of times I do it on my phone with my magnifying glasses because I'm like, I like to be in different spaces or different rooms and I'm on the audio Bible um, in a year. So yeah, but my favorite, favorite Bibles um, I have with me right in front of me and I'm going to do my quick devotional. And I love it. And I'm also looking for Bible verses because I'm doing Bible memory verses. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. Yay. Get my brain going and my heart moving and the word inside of me. Bob. Oh, I didn't show you. He made that box. That is super cute. It's exactly what I love. <clears throat> Actually, what I want him to do now. Such a great idea is to use those to put inside. But we need to replace those. They were here when we got them. They're, when we got here, they're breaking. So yeah, I don't mind the glass one and the glass one. Not glass. Pottery. But those need to be built up so maybe he can build around them. Beautiful. See that rainbow? Yeah, it ends right. It's a double rainbow. Can't see it right here, both, yeah. Uh, I can't see it. Yeah, it's a double. Oh, yeah. Well, it needs to be a triple or quad. Yeah, I saw like what shadows it could be a triple, but it really is just a double. So pretty, and it, it literally goes right into the ground right there. It's because it ends right. Look at people are stopping to get, <coughs> to get pictures of it because it literally stops right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't ever see them where they end. It ends right there. It's stunning. My very first bucket hat I'm making. Yay! This one will be for Bob because it's I made it really big. Yeah, pretty big. I mean, I can wear it too. I'm gonna make quite a few of them for the boat for when we're out in the water, so that our faces are covered because of skin cancer. Because I don't want any more on my face. Well, I don't want any anywhere, but you know what I mean. So, anyways, I'll let you know when I'm done. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited. Woo. Yay, oatmeal. I don't know what made me think of that, but I was trying to figure out a dinner, something to eat for breakfast before I take sweet wisdom for a walk. Because Bob is gone and she's sad. And then coffee, blueberries, little almond butter, little honey. That's it. Let's see if I can get this. Watch her. He's so excited! You're going for a walk! Yeah! Oh! Oh! You're so excited! You want to go for a walk? She's used to Bob, Popsy taking her every morning. They would be gone by now, huh? You would be gone. We gotta get some... We're gonna go now. We gotta get some little poopy pads to take her. Listen, you're choking yourself. You gotta slow it down. I promise I'm taking you. I'm just not used to this. Like Clopsy. Her and Bob, whoa, have a thing. <laughs> they know how to do it. This is what I need. I just don't do it. Um, a lot of reasons why. Okay, let's start over. Good morning. Today is Friday in the forest. So beautiful. I love it. We're gonna do a few little videos of this prancing, proud little puppy. And when we come back around, I'm trying to think which way is the fastest, easiest way to go up that or down that. I don't know, let's go this way. When we come back around, we'll get um, the water. Oops. Okay, you gonna go to the bathroom or what are you doing? Good girl. 
good girl. Are you peeing? You said you're a good girl. What do you smell? What do you smell, Wisdom? Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Look at how pretty it is. So beautiful. Oh. I'm definitely going to get my workout. <laughs> no question. Oh, guys. Whew. If I sound out of breath, because I am already. All right. Are you just going to guide me, Miss Wisdom? Oh, yeah. Look how pretty that is. The water's right out there. You can't see it from where you'd have to walk through those trees, but it'd be right on the other side of those trees. I mean, you could walk it easily. My friend owns those homes. Um, but when we come around the opposite side, coming up the hill, come on, I'll show you how um, high the water is. That usually there's a path that we take Come on, let's go. And we can't take that path anymore to the water because the water's all the way up, which is so beautiful. <sighs> what a day. Okay, I'm gonna stop and flip it around. Here we go. This is the day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Hope and pray that there is no stray dogs because that's not my thing. Don't love it at all. Look at that. Oh, I was gonna say, look at that car, but the screen's on me, not, not that car. Oh, she really has to pee. I guess that's TMI, right? It's my dog. Oh, I gotta take pictures. Wisdom, first of all, you're beautiful. But these wildflowers. Oh my gosh, look at that. They're starting to come up. This shoe is so important to us. And Bob found this piece of stump that looked like a foot. And he put that shoe on it. And I can't remember where the shoe came from. I think he found it on the Lewis River. Which there's so many stories about that. But he put it on that um, driftwood that looked like a foot. And kind of in honor of his father who passed away the exact same um, year as he found it. And his father had to have his leg amputated. I don't think that's private. And he ended up passing away um, a year later. And I don't know, we've just always kept it. It always meant a lot. Every time we see it, it just reminds us of Bob's dad. And it was an ama amazing wonderful man and god bless him he served in our great country too my dad served my brother-in-law served sorry my fingers in there let's see how to get that out of the way there and uh so yeah we want to honor all of you who served in our great country god bless you all how we walk from our house which is 300 yards from where we live but let me go in and zoom in so even the water is actually if I can get this in here. Where... I wonder how many of you know how to check a watermelon. So number one is you look for like a ye yellow ripe something. But number two is you look at the belly button. And if the belly button ring is brown, that means it was picked right. If it's green, see the green around? It was picked too early. So you need both, and then you hit it to make sure it has that kind of hollow. Okay, that's just like a whole thing. It took me so long to figure out. I don't know why, every time I walk into a store, if it's a new store, a store I haven't used, like I've been using the store somewhat because I get gas around here. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out their system. So I had a $5 voucher, and of course I wanted to use it but it literally took me about 30 minutes because the lady was so busy, but she was so nice. It's the first time I've been in here where the person at the self scan area was so kind. 
and showed me and taught me like one or two things that really matter. So anyway, I'm happy about that. So this is what we got. I got cheese, creamer, more creamer because it's on sale, watermelon, um, the, the zero noodles, Riced cauliflower. Let me set this right here. Um, cheese. I already said that, right? Riced cauliflower. There are a couple other things. Don't really know. I can't remember. So I'm going to put our card away. But I'm going home. I can't wait to go home. Oh. So my goal today when I get home is to write for an hour max just an hour or even actually I'm trying to talk myself into like doing like like every hour 15 minutes until I go to bed um something like that so it's not so boring and then one deep clean project in a room not the whole house but in a room i think i'll make myself a really oh sorry yummy smoothie because i bought a acai 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 <laughs> um i bought some acai smoothie um frozen yummy stuff and i think that's it i'm gonna crochet try to see what i want to watch like i struggle with finding things to watch and bob and i were going to hook the back of the tv up so i could start watching the the vhs dvds that we have from when our kids were young so they wouldn't be the dvds they'd be the vhs so i want to start doing that but we didn't get it hooked up so and actually it's probably a blessing because i know he wants to see them also so i shouldn't be watching them without him because we both struggle to find movies at night to watch and that's that's where it's gonna be what we're gonna be doing all right y'all let's hit the road jack and then on my way home if i see a bunch of boats in the water i will take some video but i actually think that the boats are going to be mostly tomorrow. They'll start coming in tonight. That's why I want to get home now too. Um, and then, then the water is going to be crazy because the weather is like dreamy high for boating, you know, on the water. Um, okay, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all things, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Yay! And then Matthew 11, 28 and 29, come to me all who are weary and carry heavy burdens for I will give you rest. I'm a teacher and I'm humble and kind. Let me teach you. I'm humble and kind. And I will give you rest for your soul. So take my yoke upon you. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. bummed over that I really went for. One of the things I went for was pre-made salad because I just wanted it real easy. And I have one, but I wanted more. But these are the things I like to eat fast. I needed some cheese on ham. And I usually like um, the grocery outlet or the Trader Joe brand better, but that's okay. I got some rice cauliflower. 
la da. I love these. The pasta zeros. And they had one, two. I bought three of the spaghetti ones. They're like 25 calories. <laughs> and I bought, they only had one of the fettuccine. I bought that. I bought two of these, the um, blue cheese, because I like blue cheese. Try to keep stocked up on these, but two of these, they were on sale. And bedsicles. Okay, yes. I've gotten where I don't love all the other ice creams, but I love these. So that's what we got. The only thing missing, like, oh, and I got a watermelon that I'm missing the pre-made salad, which I do have one and I have a bunch of lettuce. I just bought lettuce from Trader Joe's last night. So I have lettuce. I can make um, salads, not a problem. I'll just pre-make some. And then I have one of those. There we go. Chef Bob. Uh, ultra thin honey ham on whatever kind of bread there's. Oh, like. that's that avocado. Yeah, Let's avocado seven grain dinner roll. Yes. Did you Flavored buy that? With guacamole spices. Did you buy that or did Ryan buy it? Ryan bought it. Okay. He eats vegan. That's our son who eats vegan, and he I would is never a, buy that. But he. Oh, it's so good. I would I buy agree. it. I oh would my buy gosh! It. Now you know. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Do you know how to tell what a good watermelon is? If you thump on it, and it makes a deep echo voice. That's one out of three things you need to do. Do you know the yeah, other two? I like that. No, that's one of them. There's three okay, things. Okay, I don't. Okay, so you were right. One is thumping. Number two is finding a spot, a yellow spot anywhere just one yeah. ye one yellow spot that's right so that one has it number three is the belly button which is right here yeah what about it if the belly button ring around the whole thing is brown yeah. it's right those three things so most right. most of them are green they're yeah, picked yeah. too soon and they just so i learned that i watched on youtube how to pick a good watermelon. So this is gonna be our watermelon that I'm gonna cut up today and we'll see if that, that's true, if those three things. I'm good at picking something. Ah, that's going on YouTube, you know. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna end the video. Just wanna say you are loved and you are valuable and you are worth everything. Jesus paid a price for you and he loves you so much. So God bless you all. Have a beautiful week.